This video is sponsored by JX Tactical Holsters. Here's an outside the waistband with a paddle attachment for my Glock 45 MOS. Nice clean fit, nice retention, good looking holster. And if you're into belt carry, you can throw this attachment on there and choose how you want it to ride on the body. Here's a JX Tactical IWB holster called the Fat Guy. You can adjust these loops wherever you want to give yourself a little extra breathing room. Nice fit. It also is available with a standard belt clip or the Alti clip, which allows you to carry without a belt. You fasten it like that and then push this lever down, keeps it nice and firm. Loaded with options to custom fit your preferred carry. Fat guys, skinny guys, really doesn't matter. Check them out at jxtactical.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Rossi RP63. Rossi is back in the game with revolvers. I'm so happy about that because the first revolver I ever got was a Rossi and I, I loved it. It was blued, it was inexpensive, and it worked well. Well, the RP63 is an updated version, all stainless steel, three inch barrel, six shot, 357 Magnum. Now what I just shot was 38 Special. Very limited time with this so far for me, but I'm happy to have it out to the range because I'm really excited about this Rossi revolver. They make budget firearms. The MSRP on this is 461. So if you look at uh, any other manufacturer out there and compare the price, you'll see that the RP63 is much less. It has rubber grips, has some bumps on there, some slight finger grooves, three finger contact on the revolver it has the firing pin on the hammer which is more traditional i like that and my first one had that it is removable and replaceable and you could do that if it happens to break but i doubt that'll happen but it's an all stainless steel handgun its loaded weight is 30 and a quarter ounces so rossi is building this for people to carry a lot of wheel gun fans out there they say you know what i don't want to deal with magazines i don't want to deal with jams give me a revolver all day long it has generated a ton of excitement now the rear sight is a tunneled rear sight snag free and then the front ramp you just bury that front ramp into the rear sight and it should be pretty good to go one of the things that i find super cool is that the width of the trigger I'll close, uh, close in on that. The, the trigger is very wide, so when you put your finger on there, it just feels like a lot of real estate on there, and it is when you compare it. Now, it does rotate counterclockwise, the cylinder does. It has a push button, cylinder release. But it's a good looking revolver, a matte finish, not a lot of shine to it. It is budget priced, and so far it's performing very well. It also has a full underlug, okay, with a shrouded ejector. But overall, I'm happy to have this. It's a new release from Rossi. Let's load it up with 357 this time. All right, now I have 357 Magnum in there. Let's try this in double action. We'll start with the middle circle. All right, six shots. That's pretty good considering a lot of revolvers of this size is a five shot. But overall, very nice. We take a look at the crane and the ejecting rod. It's a nice package. Now, when I first reviewed this on the table, I said that it was our, well, the RP63 Rossi pistol, six shot, three inch barrel. And I was corrected on that. The R actually stands for something that's Brazilian that I have no idea and there's no way I'm going to remember. But it is made in Brazil. Big and wide trigger. The single action trigger pull, on my scale, is measuring at, at six pounds. But it is really short. Love that single action. And I'm thinking that the width of the trigger, because you have more finger on there that it it makes it feel lighter 
then it actually is rabbit. That that front sight kind of blends in with the background a little bit. It's a short front sight. That is removable, by the way. You can remove it and put a fiber optic or a night sight in there. Hey, what's not the like? Rossi's back in the revolver game. They have the three inch model called the RP63. It's pretty great. I, I like, I'm very excited to have this actually. I'm missing that mid size barrel length revolver, and now I have it in 357 with the RP63. I really want wood grips. <laughs> I love wood grips on stainless revolvers. I just think it adds a little bit. Uh, touch of class, but these will do for now. They also make uh, G10 grips. They are available. That's what they had featured at shot, but the 357 Magnum, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of pressure on the finger there as you right behind the trigger guard as that thing hits back a little bit. It's to be expected with a 30 ounce loaded revolver, but overall very happy to have it. I think Rossi did a great job with it. I'm excited that Rossi's back in the revolver game. They also have this with a larger barrel. Now, 461 is the MSRP. It's currently selling for right around the MSRP, but I think once it gets out and available more, it will drop in price. And that's pretty common with all firearms, but definitely a budget price. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.